Hey guys, Mr. Myas is here, and this is my second video on using the TI Inspire cast or the TI Inspire in any way. Um, so in this video, I'm going to talk about just using the calculator tab. So using a calculator page, now how I got there is you can either use the scratch pad, which will just let you calculate, and this is what the scratch pad looks like, or I cho I normally choose to create documents because I like to keep uh, the dynamic flow. Oops, I don't want to do that. I like to keep the dynamic flow throughout my document. So I'm gonna go and choose a calculator. And now I have my calculator. Now, in this calculator, I mean, it looks a little different, like you're doing blank, it's blank, what happens? So in this calculator, you could just use it as a regular calculator. So if I want, you know, five plus three is equal, and five plus three and enter will give me my equal sign is eight. Um, the thing about the Inspire, is that it'll automatically give you fractions if you put something in as a fraction. So let's say uh, six plus three divided by five is gonna give you 33 fifths. So it's gonna give you a simplified fraction. Now, if you don't want a simplified fraction, a lot of times we don't want fractions, we can um, do the same thing. We just hit, we can hit control enter and control enter, you see a little squiggly marks here on top. The squiggly marks mean approximate. So control enter will always give you a decimal. If you wanted to also, the other thing you could think about for the TI Inspire is that if you are if you have a decimal in your problem, you're gonna have a decimal as your answer. So even if I did like 6.2, which could easily, easily, easily be six and uh, two tenths or six and one fifth, plus three, it's gonna give that to me as a decimal as my output. So decimal in, decimal out, fraction in, fraction out. If I wanna change that to a fraction, I believe there is a function that changes it to a fraction. Um, I have, think I have to find it in a little book. Uh, but the little book here is the catalog, since while I'm at it, here's the catalog. And we've got all kinds of things we can do in the catalog. So if we're ever looking for a certain thing, it you know it's bound to be in the cat catalog. Here are some of our um, different types of functions that we can have matrices. You know we can create a matrix, a list. Uh, sorry about that. Um, we could create some you know algebra things and solve. I'll get to that later. Some trig. There's all kinds of stuff we have in here, and we've got some conversions. We've got um, angles that we can use, uh, you know, integrals. For those of you in BC Calc, you'll notice a lot of this stuff is, is you know, we, we've seen this before. So there are a lot of different functions we can do. Everything's in the calculator. This is kind of neat. There's all these little type functions, which I'll talk about in just a second. And of course, there are some um, other, you know, uh, economic stuff you can do with them. So that's in the catalog. All right, so let's go back to, remember hit escape to get back to anything. So let's say there's a lot of stuff that you, if you're in calculus, there's a lot of stuff on this calculator screen that we are going to use. There's anything from logarithms. So, you know, control, there's a, there's a natural log. All right, there is a, and remember it's gonna give you in real form here. There's a, you know, you can do the log base of a number I'm gonna hit Control Enter to get the decimal equivalent. Uh, there's e to the power of something, right? So all all of the functions are around here. Um, there to get a power. So five, you gotta do the little caret. The caret will take you to the power five cubed. All right, so that'll give you that. In the little pi symbol down here, you hit the pi symbol, and you've got all these. You've got pi. You've got uh, infinity, which you won't be able to use unless you're using a cast version. Um, theta, maybe we might use. We have a degree symbol here. So we've got all these things that we can use in terms of angles. Here's our comma down here. Um, right here in the little, these little uh, uh, shading things here, this makes your screen either darker or lighter. Um, this is a, oh, this is a cool thing. I know that, um, well, let me get to that in just a second. Up here we have roots. Um, here's our trig. So if we wanted some trig, let me get, a, I gotta escape first. If we wanted trig, here are all our trig functions that we can use, right? If we wanted the cosine of um, two pi, 
it'll tell me what the cosine of 2 pi is. If we want an equal sign or not equals to, now normally if you're not in calculus BC, which we might be able to get cast, I'm not going to promise that, but if we're lucky to get a cast version, there is a way to use the equal signs and stuff in a cast version, but otherwise we can't really use it in a calculator. Um, this STO, it means we can store things. So if we wanted to store a, you know, we wanted to eight and we wanted to store it as a variable A, then anytime I hit A, A times one, see how it bolds? Anytime we bold, it means it knows what it is. And then it knows it's eight, right? Because it knows that we stored A as in eight. And remember that anytime we open up a tab, it's going to remember that A was eight anywhere in here, okay? And believe it or not, statistics, you are going to need that once. So if you're in my stats class, you are going to need to be able to store something at some point. All right, so here's a here are the two biggest you the I think the two most used buttons, three most used buttons in the calculator menu for either class statistics or calculus. The first one is going to be I think if we want a fraction. So let's say like you want to do you want a fraction but you don't want to you don't want to take them divided by right. Let's say you want the square root of uh, 1.2 times 3.1 over 5, something like that. So right above the division, if we hit control enter, we get a fraction form. So that's very helpful. Delete will clear that out. That's very helpful if we have a square root and then we have a fraction inside the square root. 0 0.2, let's do 0 0.2 times 0 0.8 divided by, so I went down for divided by because I got to get down here divided by 25. All right, so let's say I had something like that. And I hit enter. So that's helpful because this is in a division and I'd like to be able to use that fraction so it doesn't confuse me when I put it in because that's the way it says it on the, the problem. Uh, the other button I think is gonna get used a lot is this button right here next to the book. And if you, if you open that up, it's got all of these options that you can use. This is the fraction, this is a power, a root, an e, a logarithm. These are all for piecewise functions. This is an absolute value, uh, degrees, minutes, seconds, we, we, which we probably won't use. Um, matrices, which we will use in probably both classes. Those of you in BC Calc that know derivatives, this is a derivative here um, and an integral for those in BC Calc that, already, that are coming from calculus. So, you know, it's really nice to be able to, to just click on this and it automatically shows up and we can use that, uh, you know, that right there. So that's kind of nice. The other thing that you're all you're going to use a lot is menu. Menu is where all of our functions and actions are. All right. You can do all kinds of things in terms of deleting variables. Um, number, we're not going to use this all too much. Algebra, we're not going to use this too much, although in calculus you might want to find zeros or um, use the solve function if you're using a CAS version. So there's a lot of things in algebra that you'll do. Calculus, this is, you know, obviously we're going to be using this function a lot in calculus. For statistics, we'll be using probability. So here's, here's the probability part. So really stats, guys, we're really going to use probability and statistics. This is where a lot of our, our functions that we're gonna be using in this calculator are gonna come from. All right, matrix and vector, maybe, but not really, and then you've got all these other things, okay? So those are where all of our stuff is. It's hidden in menu. Last thing I'm gonna say is, this is a really cool part of the calculator, the TI Inspire. Let's say I had something complicated, like, like this here, but I, I messed up and I really want to just change this to a three and this to a seven. Now I can do the whole thing over again, but the calculator is cool. So we hit, we hit up, 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 and hit enter, and it automatically shows up again. And then all we have to do is scroll over and change the numbers that we want to change, and hit enter, and there we go. All right, or say you had something way up top. You can go way up top, and you can hit enter, and it'll come all the way down there. All right, that's pretty cool, isn't it? The other thing you could do is if you didn't know you can hit enter, you can always hit control, control, um, let's see, it's control V, 
or control C will copy it and then you come down here and control V will paste it so you can do copy and paste on things too so it's kind of nice it's like I said it's dynamic and there's some really cool things you can do with the calculator all right so those are the basics of the calculator menu um, and you'll be able to use that see you soon guys